is are not worth 300 bucks. Hello everybody! Today I'm bringing you the performance review of the Wild 9 Infinity. The review on these are solely based on indoor usage because I have only been playing indoor with these. So let's dive into traction first. The traction itself, I think it's alright. Um, I'd rather they use the white portion, the 3D like dotted pattern all over the forefoot instead of the greenish uh, relatively flat pattern. Because I'm not saying that the green part is bad, it's just that the white gives me more grip um, during cuts and drive-ins and all kinds of movement. I feel like the white part gives me better grip uh, than the green part. But overall, I think the traction on these pair are pretty solid. I would definitely put them on the above standard tier. Um, not like they are like top tier, but they are... Uh, yeah, up there. And then for the cushioning system, the full length uh, boom foam midsole together with the two like two foam that are also boom and the cloud carrier uh, foam. It offers a pretty decent stepping comfort and also impact protection and also the I would say it offers a pretty good bounce to it. Uh, it's, it feels lighter than Boost, but it offers almost uh, pretty much the same bounce and the cushy, bouncy, like, court feel. If we are considering the cushioning system by itself, I think it offers a pretty decent court feel, but it's pretty high off the ground uh, due to the whole um, Jiang system that lift you pretty high off the ground. And that by itself, I think it's alright. It won't cost you any like unstable or toppling toppling over, because uh, there's a pretty solid outrigger on the forefoot, both medial and lateral side. But the thing is, uh, the whole entire heel portion, it has no internal or external heel counter. It's just like really soft. As you can see here, you can simply like pinch it. Just like that. Because without any solid structure that contain my heel, um, my heel are always popping up and sliding side to side. And that has to do with the whole lacking of the heel structure and also the lacing system. It's nice that they have two dials so I can selectively tighten the forefoot part and the heel part. But then just because um, how they position the upper portion of the dial and the cable. It's not that effective in terms of locking down my heel into the heel cup. And together, both of these uh, reasons, the heel containment is really bad. And for me, three most important features I'm seeking in a heel are forefoot containment, especially the lateral containment, the traction, and also the heel containment. And this shoe are scoring a zero in terms of the heel containment. And that's a big, big no-no for me. And another big downside of these are the durability issue. Because after my first usage of, uh, I think it's a two hour full court indoor use. So if I think you can see from here, I already burnt through a hole uh, on the upper just from two hour usage. And this is a 300 bucks sneakers. And I'm expecting something more than, like, more durable than this. A two hour use with a whole rip like this is just not acceptable. I sent them an inbox message to their official Instagram page uh, asking about the warranty and exchange program. And so far, I have heard nothing from them. I'm not sure whether they have seen my message or not, but yeah, it's been a week or I think two weeks already. So um, I hope they will get back to me about a warranty or exchange because so for a 300 bucks sneaker, I don't think um, ripping a hole like this in two hours is uh, anything close to acceptable. And another thing is uh, I don't know how much intensity the BOA dial could handle because towards the end of my first game, I realized uh, the dial 
had been popped off and the cable didn't loosen up uh, inside. And I figured towards the, like maybe the last game or two, all I've been relying on are the strat itself to contain whatever inside. And that's when I realized the whole strat does offer something in terms of containment. But I still uh, prefer if the DAO could be more secure, i say. Oh, and in terms of the whole like midfoot plate, like the Jang system, especially on this pair, which uh, gives you a really weird uh, curvature on the whole outsole, it does require some breaking time and time for your feet to get used to. Because after the first night of usage, uh, my the sole of my foot kind of sores for like a day or two. I think you just have to get used to it because um, I don't feel any soreness after the second, third, fourth trial. So I think it's just on the first try, uh, it might take a little like getting used to. I think to make it short, the WoW 9 Infinity, like if broken down, the specs and the tech are pretty decent and legit, but how they put together and implement the whole thing, it's uh, kind of a disappointment, mainly because of the whole heal containment and also the durability issue. Other than that, I think the whole full food containment, the cushion system, the traction, everything, it's, I, I think it's pretty decent. I love playing in these, other than the whole, like, again, the heel container problem. For 300 bucks, I would definitely not consider this. I mean, it does look kind of cool in some way, but yeah, that's about it. If anybody happened to know people from the brand, wait a wait, please forward them by request for a warranty or an exchange or a refund. Yeah, because I still hear nothing from them. And I think that's a risk you have to bear, uh, not having a legit office or branch at your area. So, because wait or wait, have no branch or legit distributor or dealer in Hong Kong. So I pretty much get this from a like a reseller. They don't offer me any warranty program or exchange or anything of that sort. So if any of you could help me reach those guys in their office, that would be greatly appreciated. And that's about it, and thank you for watching. Feel free to shoot me any message uh, or inbox me through Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I'll see you next time. Today, I brought you the performance review of the Wait Away 9 Infinity.